everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is April and in this episode of Thrift Day Transformations, I'm going to be resizing a little girl's dress to fit me. Before we get started, I wanted to give a shout out to Cheyenne, Kathy, Sarah, and Lindsay for purchasing a Cool Erpa t-shirt to support this channel and make today's video possible. If you guys want to get your own Cool Erpa t-shirt, this is one of my favorite designs right here. It says, she believes she could, so she did. And you can do so by clicking the link down in my description box. A lot of sizes are running out and unfortunately we won't be restocking in these designs. Once they run out, they're completely gone. But your support is going to help us move on to selling more things in the future. And for that, we really appreciate everyone that is showing support so far. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. Since I'm already a size small in the women's section, it's hard for me to find clothes that's too small. So I just decided to go shopping in the little kids section and I found the perfect dress to transform. This is the little girl's dress I found to transform. The straps are way too tight and short so it makes the bodice sit super high on my chest and it also digs into my armpits. The zipper can't go up all the way and there's also a tie at the waist for me to use. I know with just a few changes, we can upsize this dress and make it fit a lot better. First, I seam rip those little straps off. This is going to make the biggest difference. Then I seam rip the waistband trim and won't be incorporating it back into the dress because I personally don't like it. I think it's what makes it look like a little girl's dress. And also remove the zipper. After I took out the front waistband, there's now an empty space in the front, which could be cute if you want to cut out design in your dress. But for me, I'm going to close it up by separating the skirt from the top. Then go ahead and trim away the parts that are hanging out from the bottom of the bodice. The armhole and back neckline go up way too high, so to make it fit better, I lowered the back of the bodice starting from underneath the armhole. Notice when I cut, I already have my seam allowance included by having the armhole seam opened and laying flat. You don't just want to cut through the finished seam because the seam allowance needs to blend into the original seam. Next, taking the facing pieces from the section I cut off, I'll be sewing them back into the bodice. I didn't cut the facing pieces to fit the new shape yet because it was easier for me to just pin them in place to make sure they fit as I sewed them down. Afterwards, I can trim the excess material away. Now just close up the seams the same way that the dress came. So make sure you're paying attention to how the garment was constructed while you seam rip. This is a great way for you to learn and practice new techniques as well for when you want to make your own dress from scratch. Remember the ties at the waist? Well now I'm going to be using them as shoulder straps because the original straps are way too short. The idea I had before was to piece together the three tiny straps into one long one but I didn't want three different seams in my strap. First, I cut the waist ties in half because I don't want them to be so thick. And then I folded the new strip in half and sewed the open side closed. Turn the straps inside out using a loop turner or the ribbon method that I shared in my Pinterest sewing hacks and sandwich them in between the facing and bodice. Then sew straight along the top to close it up. Since the back is just a little too snug fitting, I decided I would just trim even more off and add loops to the back so the straps can lace through. I used the original skinny straps as loops and added two on each side. Sandwich them in between the bodice and facing and sew them together. Now we can work on attaching the skirt back to the dress. And the first thing I did was make sure the skirt seams were lined up with the bodice seams. I took in each seam and also tapered in the skirt so that it hugs my waist at the top and then flared it out into the original seam. Now we can attach the skirt to the top by flipping it up so it's facing right sides together, match up the seams, and sew it down.
To finish off the dress, I sewed the zipper back into the skirt by first closing up the bottom up to where the zipper ends and then sewing the zipper by laying the folded edge over the zipper tape and top stitching it down on each side. After that, fold the top of the zipper tape under and hem the top of the skirt. I also went ahead and top stitched the waist while I was at it. And lastly, I shortened the skirt by an inch and rehemmed it. Here is the final transformation. I know I'm obsessed with lace-up bags, but I really love how the lace-up works with this dress, especially because the chest was too tight on me, but now I can adjust the tightness. The only thing I should have also fixed was the shape of the princess seam so it can hug my chest a little nicer. I am flat-chested, so it's not too bad, but it's something I would definitely alter if you have more curves than me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Thrifted Transformations. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share my channel with all of your friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye.